13 weather. And WVTM 13 live Doppler covered up with heavy rain at the moment. Birmingham to Coleman, Aniana starting to pull up into Etowah County, St. Clair County, Talladega County as well. There's a storm south of Tuscaloosa that has come across Greene County and now Hale County. This one, I wouldn't be surprised if we don't have some 30 to 40 mile per hour plus wind gust with it as it's moving through Havana Junction and Moundville and tracking up toward the northeast. Almost a little bit of a overall rotation of the storm system right here. A mes mesoscale area of low pressure has developed here between Tuscaloosa and Livingston, and that is riding up along that. And sometimes that can be a bit of a trouble spot for us. So this is something that we are certainly going to keep an eye on here for the next uh, 30, 45 minutes as it's tracking toward the northeast across Tuscaloosa County toward Bibb County. I'll put a storm path on here and show you where we think it's going to go and we'll give it some times of arrival. You'll see the communities pop on. The core of that storm is just south of Moundville right now and at a clip of about uh, 50 miles per hour. That's how fast it's moving. It heads into western Bibb County and southeastern Tuscaloosa County passing south of the city of Tuscaloosa and south of the city of Northport. Duncanville would be about 506. Uh, Yolan around uh, 518 and the Hagler community close to 511. Now beyond that, there are no severe thunderstorms around North Alabama or Central Alabama at this time, but we have been watching uh, some storms that are farther down to the south that are a bit more electric down toward Dallas County and Montgomery County. That's an area where we're a bit more primed for the potential of some severe thunderstorms for the remainder of the evening, as well as the Gulf Coast region, the Pine Belt of Mississippi, and then uh, the coastal plain of Alabama, Mobile, Baldwin, Choctaw, Clark, Monroe, Conecuh County, Escambia County. You can see the thunderstorms erupting here. And the nastier the storms get down to the south, the less room they have to grow up here to the north. So here's what we think the threat looks like for the rest of the evening. Tornado watch in this area until 8 p.m. Uh, it may be extended farther to the east, but none of these counties are under a watch. This is just us outlining a region of the state and saying this is where I think the threat, if there is one, would be from about the top of the hour until midnight. Strong gusty winds, the main issue, as well as some flash flooding, and then a few severe thunderstorms are possible there as well. A flood watch remains in effect for virtually all of north and central Alabama. Some of us already have close to three inches of rain since it started this morning and it's not going to be shutting down anytime soon. This is going to go away after midnight tonight. Tomorrow, a brighter day, breezy and cool. Much cooler weather ahead in the next seven days. Highs in the 40s and 50s. Overnight lows back down below freezing for the first time in nearly a month by the time we get into the weekend.